Welcome to ReneeEnergy.com on YouTube, the hub for all things renewable energy and sustainability. Our channel is dedicated to bringing you the latest innovations and insights in green energy, including cutting-edge developments like green hydrogen. Whether you're a sustainability veteran or just beginning your journey, we have something for everyone. Join us on this channel to explore inspiring projects for a sustainable tomorrow. We bring you the latest in renewable energy, sustainability, and cutting-edge technologies. And don't forget, for more in-depth information and resources, visit our website and subscribe to our newsletter for the latest updates and exclusive content. Welcome back to ReneeEnergy.com's YouTube channel. In our previous video, we discussed the best practices for data collection and quality control in green hydrogen resource assessment. Today, we'll take a step further and explore the integration of resource assessment results into a comprehensive feasibility analysis. Resource assessment is just one piece of the puzzle when it comes to developing successful green hydrogen projects. To make informed decisions and mitigate risks, it is essential to integrate resource assessment results with other key aspects of project feasibility, such as technical design, economic analysis, and environmental impact assessment. In this video, we'll delve into the process of integrating resource assessment results for a holistic evaluation of green hydrogen project feasibility. Comprehensive feasibility analysis is a systematic approach to evaluating the viability and sustainability of a green hydrogen project from multiple perspectives. It involves the integration of various datasets, models, and tools to assess the technical, economic, environmental, and social aspects of the project. The integration of resource assessment results is a critical component of this analysis, as it provides the foundation for understanding the potential and limitations of the renewable energy resources available for hydrogen production. The process of integrating resource assessment results typically begins with the selection of appropriate metrics and indicators. These metrics should capture the key characteristics and performance parameters of the renewable energy resource, such as the annual energy yield, capacity factor, and variability. For example, in Solar Resource Assessment, the annual Global Horizontal Irradiance GHI, and the Direct Normal Irradiance DNI, are commonly used metrics to quantify the solar energy potential. Similarly, in Wind Resource Assessment, the annual average wind speed and the wind power density are important indicators of the wind energy potential. The selection of metrics should align with the specific requirements and objectives of the Green Hydrogen Project, as well as the relevant industry standards and best practices. Once the resource assessment metrics are defined, the next step is to integrate them with the technical design of the green hydrogen system. This involves the sizing and configuration of the renewable energy generation components, such as solar panels or wind turbines, as well as the electrolyzer and hydrogen storage systems. The resource assessment results provide crucial inputs for determining the optimal capacity and performance of these components, taking into account the variability and intermittency of the renewable energy supply. For example, if the resource assessment indicates a high potential for solar energy, the technical design may focus on maximizing the efficiency and output of the solar photovoltaic PV, system. This could involve the selection of high-performance PV modules, the optimization of the tilt angle and orientation of the panels, and the incorporation of sun tracking mechanisms to enhance energy capture. Similarly, if the resource assessment reveals strong and consistent wind patterns, the technical design may prioritize the deployment of larger and more efficient wind turbines, as well as the optimization of the turbine layout and spacing to minimize weight losses. The integration of resource assessment results with the technical design also involves the consideration of site-specific factors, such as the topography, land use, and environmental constraints. For instance, if the resource assessment identifies areas with high solar potential but challenging terrain or land use restrictions, the technical design may need to adapt by using alternative mounting structures or smaller, distributed PV systems. Similarly, if the wind resource assessment indicates the presence of sensitive ecological habitats or noise-sensitive receptors, the technical design may need to incorporate mitigation measures, such as bird and bat monitoring systems or noise reduction technologies. Economic analysis is another critical aspect of comprehensive feasibility analysis that benefits from the integration of resource assessment results. The economic viability of a green hydrogen project depends on various factors, including the capital costs, operating costs, and revenue streams. Resource assessment results provide essential inputs for estimating the energy production and the associated costs and benefits over the project lifetime. For example, the annual energy yield and capacity factor derived from the resource assessment can be used to calculate the expected hydrogen production and the corresponding revenue from hydrogen sales. 
This information can be combined with the capital costs of the renewable energy and electrolyzer systems, as well as the operating and maintenance costs, to develop a detailed financial model of the project. The financial model can then be used to evaluate the project's profitability, cash flows, and return on investment, as well as to assess the sensitivity of the economic performance to different scenarios and assumptions. The integration of resource assessment results with economic analysis also enables the optimization of the project design and sizing from a cost-benefit perspective. By varying the capacity and configuration of the renewable energy and hydrogen production components, and comparing the resulting energy yields and economic metrics, project developers can identify the most cost-effective and financially viable design options. This optimization process can help balance the trade-offs between maximizing hydrogen production and minimizing costs, while ensuring the long-term sustainability and bankability of the project. Environmental Impact Assessment EIA, is another important component of comprehensive feasibility analysis that relies on the integration of resource assessment results. AIA involves the identification, prediction, and evaluation of the potential environmental and social impacts of a green hydrogen project, as well as the development of appropriate mitigation and monitoring measures. Resource assessment results provide valuable information for understanding the scale and nature of the project's interactions with the natural and human environment. For example, the spatial and temporal patterns of renewable energy resource availability can help identify the potential impacts on land use, water resources, and biodiversity. If the resource assessment indicates a high concentration of solar or wind energy potential in ecologically sensitive areas, such as wetlands or migratory bird habitats, the AIA may need to include detailed studies on the potential impacts and propose suitable avoidance or mitigation measures. Similarly, if the resource assessment reveals seasonal variations in water availability for hydrogen production, the AIA may need to assess the implications for water resource management and develop strategies for sustainable water use. The integration of resource assessment results with A also enables the optimization of project siting and design to minimize environmental and social risks. By overlaying the renewable energy resource maps with data on land use, protected areas, and community settlements, project developers can identify areas with lower environmental and social sensitivity, and prioritize them for development. This spatial optimization can help reduce the project's ecological footprint, avoid conflicts with local communities, and enhance the overall sustainability and social acceptance of the Green Hydrogen Project. Case studies from around the world demonstrate the value of integrating resource assessment results for comprehensive feasibility analysis. For example, the Asian Renewable Energy Hub in Australia, which aims to develop a massive green hydrogen production facility powered by solar and wind energy, conducted a detailed feasibility study that integrated resource assessment, technical design, economic analysis, and environmental impact assessment. The study used high-resolution solar and wind resource data to optimize the project layout and sizing, and evaluated the economic viability and environmental sustainability of different design scenarios. The results of the integrated analysis informed the selection of the most promising project configuration, and supported the successful permitting and financing of the project. Another notable example is the High Deal project in Europe, which seeks to establish a large-scale green hydrogen production and distribution network across multiple countries. The project conducted a comprehensive feasibility analysis that integrated resource assessment results from multiple sites, along with techno-economic modeling, life cycle assessment, and stakeholder engagement. The analysis used detailed solar and wind resource data to assess the hydrogen production potential and the associated costs and benefits, and evaluated the environmental and social impacts of different supply chain configurations. The results of the integrated analysis informed the development of a roadmap for the phase deployment of the project, and facilitated the alignment of stakeholder interests and the mobilization of investments. These case studies highlight the importance of integrating resource assessment results with other key aspects of feasibility analysis for the successful development of green hydrogen projects. By adopting a holistic and integrated approach, project developers can make informed decisions, optimize project design and performance, and enhance the overall viability and sustainability of green hydrogen investments. As we look to the future, the integration of resource assessment results into comprehensive feasibility analysis will continue to evolve and advance. Emerging trends and technologies, such as the use of high-performance computing, artificial intelligence, and digital twins, will enable more sophisticated and efficient integration of multidimensional datasets and models. The development of standardized methodologies and protocols for integrated feasibility analysis will also facilitate the comparability and bankability of green hydrogen projects across different regions and contexts. In conclusion, Integrating resource assessment results into comprehensive feasibility analysis is a critical step in the development of successful and sustainable green hydrogen projects. 
by combining resource assessment metrics with technical design, economic analysis, and environmental impact assessment. Project developers can gain a holistic understanding of the project's potential, risks, and trade-offs. This integrated approach enables informed decision-making, risk mitigation, and optimization of project outcomes, ultimately contributing to the accelerated deployment and scaling up of green hydrogen technologies worldwide. As we continue our journey through the world of green hydrogen resource assessment, we invite you to stay tuned for the next video, where we'll explore the role of uncertainty and risk analysis in green hydrogen project development. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to ReneeEnergy.com's YouTube channel for more exciting content on renewable energy and green hydrogen. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the possibilities of integrated green hydrogen feasibility analysis. Thanks for tuning into the ReneeEnergy.com YouTube channel. We trust you found this episode enlightening and motivating. There's a world of innovation and opportunity in sustainable energy, and we're delighted to share this journey with you. Stay in the loop with the latest on renewable energy and sustainability by visiting our website and subscribing to our newsletter. Your support is immensely appreciated, it's truly invaluable to us. Don't miss our next video on new trends in renewable energy. Follow us on social media for the latest updates. Enjoyed the video? Like, subscribe, and share for more green insights. Thanks for watching.